Hi, I'm Fate Touched, and this is me playing games. And she's all punk. I didn't understand that. Are you freaking serious? I am not talking to you, phone. I turned you off. Power off. Yes, I really want to. I really want to turn you off. I know it's a shock, right? I don't remember what I was saying. We're gonna play Haunted Hotel Eternity, the eighth haunted hotel. And I think we just have to finish this one up and then do the bonus chapter. I'm pretty sure we don't have a lot left in the regular game, but I have been surprised before. So we'll figure it out. All right, let's go. Oh yeah, I remember where we are. So we, this is where we came from and this is where we're going. And there is an angry ghost trying to kill us for reasons. At least we assume it's a ghost. Why did someone hide a tweezer? I know they are watching me all the time, but this is the only way I can cure myself and survive. Okay. What did I need? This is the dude who's haunting us currently. His overprotective older brother is trying to get us killed and he's the one that kidnapped the bad guy i'm the well he's not really the bad guy he's the one who kidnapped the professor or whatever he is okay i need a mask i guess i don't need that one ah I probably could have had a good enough grip on that to pull it out myself. Also, there's fire. Wow, that is a knife. An engraved knife? I don't think we need that information. I don't know. Oh, there he is! I was paying attention. Was he there the whole time? I hope he wasn't there the whole time. Alright, I think we're done in here. So now we have a knife. What do we need a knife for? We need the fire extinguisher nozzle. Yeah, pretty much. I don't actually understand the issue. They were trying to cure cancer and they failed. That's not like a first. Yeah, he did apparently turn into a TV ghost. Uh... Sorry, I let you down. Okay, there's nothing there. Where? What am I even supposed to be doing? I'm supposed to be here. Really? Yeah, I know I gotta extinguish the fire. I got that part. What am I supposed to be doing? Oh, I didn't realize that this was a... I'll cut up out the part I can use. What part can I use? Oh, okay. Or a noose around the ghost. That would work too. I mean, it would work just as well. It's a weird colored fire extinguisher. Wait, if the ghost was trying to kill us, why was he just standing in the middle of the fire? Can't he actually kill us? If he can't, then can't we just walk past him? And, uh, I don't know. So this thing is what? This is my chance to tie him up. He's a ghost! What do you mean this is your chance to tie him up? We were both kidding about that, right? Neither one of us thought that was what we were supposed to be doing here. We were literally we were literally kidding. Oh my gosh. Okay, okay. Alright, we didn't tie him up with the rope. Which is good, because that's not how electricity works. But apparently we killed him with electricity. So, that's a thing that just happened. Find the adhesive bandages. Why do we need bandages? 
One. I got cookie crumbs all over my mouse pad. Two. Three. Four. Yeah, I just finished the last of the Christmas cookies. I have a sad. Find the five pieces of coal. Find the six pills. Why are we looking for all of this stuff? Find the medallion. Terrence. Who's Terrence? That wasn't either of the people, was it? Because Tobias is the guy's last name. Or is it his first name? Now I don't remember. Electric security chips are required to gain access here. There's one. Oh, this is, I thought that was a flashlight. I knew that. Thought it was a broken flashlight, but. All right, here we go. The torture room. Tobias, I've got to stop him from harming the professor. And it's probably a little late for that now. Oh, we're just gonna play a match game. Okay. There's a diode missing. What is this? A handle. Okay. I can't reach it. Why do you need to reach it? Oh, okay. Okay. What? <laughs> Select pairs of pictures that are closely associated. I mean, none of them are closely associated unless you mean like this one and this one okay i guess that one i don't see how that has anything to do with a bird cage that's a gun that's a knife ah okay there is a cane in there for some reason with a hook in it why why would you have a hook inside a cane why if you wanted a hook cane, you could just get a hook cane. What is this nonsense? Connect the dots on the left image as they are represented on the right image. Do I have to go in a straight line? No, I guess not. A very weird security puzzle. Ugh. Because, like, you have the picture right next to it everyone's gonna know what you're supposed to do. I mean, it takes time. So, stop that. Oh, this must be that other guy that we haven't seen yet. What is this? A diode. Sorry, Professor, but there's something I need right behind the screen. There is? I mean, you would think. He hasn't noticed we're here yet, and we're, like, randomly opening doors, so... Um... I did not expect that to work. Huh. Okay. Wow, I'm really good at these puzzles, I guess. Hello! How are you? Happy New Year! Reynolds and Company... Sponsorship and support, I think that said. Yep, we killed the TV ghost with a lasso. Kinda. A fuse would help me here. I have no idea what I'm doing. If this is the actions you would need to save that person in real life, I would just be standing there going, Duh. I have no idea what this game is trying to get me to do. Where's the third lever? Combination lock has been knocked out. Can I hit him with the hammer? No, nope, guess not. Electric chair is charging and Tobias is ready to use it. I don't have much time. I could throw the hammer at him. I guess I'm gonna smash this TV, which is not going to alert the bad guy to my presence. Yeah, that, that would definitely have alerted the bad guy to my presence. What am I supposed to do here? 
Move each part to a spot where it matches the shape below. Okay. Wait. Oh, I... Okay. I thought I needed to have them, like, fly down there. There's the lever. Nope, wrong place. Over here. We just dropped a TV. We dropped another thing. This guy is deaf. Alright, let's see. So, we need... Wait. Okay. How is that one not in the right spot? Oh, they go different. Freaking... Oh. All right. So the top one is that. Yep. And then secondary. Oh, it's on my side. Okay. So the top one is. Wait, no. Hang on a minute. My dyslexia is driving me batty today. All right. So this one is the bottom one. No. Which one's this one? That one's the middle one. That's the middle one. Oh wait, that's all the thing wrong. Oh, that's wait. No, this is just dyslexic. This is not actually any fault of the game. A fuse. That's what that whole contraption did, was just give me a fuse? What are these? Combination. A big knife switch belongs here for emergency power. Yeah, emergency power cutoff would be good. Why isn't it there? What else might- oh, these must go down here. Why does this game love these stupid let's move one thing and all the other things move puzzles? A ladder? Why do we need a ladder? What the heck? Who designed this place? I actually like this game. I forget what it's called, with all the moving stuff around like that. Pepper spray. Why didn't I hit the big button that turned the power off? Stop, Tobias. Don't do this. After I have your confession on tape, the whole world will know about your evil deeds. Wait, Duke tricked us both. Think, only he might know about all the risks of the project. He had his own goals. Lies. <sighs> well, well. What do we have here? <laughs> do you really think you can stop me with that? I'd like to see you try. Tobias, no! <gasps> Wait, what? Great work on this case, detective. You managed to solve this case even before the mystery trackers. You'd be a real asset to our agency. What? I can't believe Tobias went this far. Thank you for believing in me. Please, take this. You deserve it. I suppose good intentions couldn't pave over the awful truth. I'll never forget this lesson. Now, I've had enough of this place. How about you? What just happened? We were gonna pepper spray the dude, and then the guy who was chained to the chair got out all by himself with just a little pulling, and then instead of fighting with us, he injected himself with the ghost stuff and turned into a ghost that disappeared. And then someone from Mystery Trackers? shows up and is like, wow, you solved this case faster than we did. You should be on our team. The, but, what? No, that's a different agency. We're Mystery Case Files. Mystery Trackers is a completely different set of people. Matter of fact, I think I've played some of the Mystery Tracker games. I'm pretty sure. But like, and then, so, was nobody the bad guy? Was there a different bad guy? Are we just gonna pretend none of that happened? 
And he just gave us the $100,000, which I guess was nice. Um, but, like, I don't, I don't get it. I don't understand. <laughs> I, I'm, maybe it was all, no, no. Again, the, the people that showed up at the end, that is a completely different agency. They are not in this game. They might be made by the same company. Like, Elephant Games might make Mystery Trackers too. I actually don't know. Oh wait, no, this isn't Mystery Case Files. This is Haunted Hotel. I'm getting my games mixed up. Are we going... So maybe... No, because Mystery Trackers is still a different series of games. Like, it's a completely separate series of games from this. Haunted Hotel is its own thing. But I, I would imagine that they're written by the same people. I don't know, maybe. I, I don't understand. So I, I guess the bonus episode is going to be us finding the real main bad guy, I assume? Or killing Tobias's ghost? Maybe? I don't know. I don't understand. This is very weird. Like, not that it was making a lot of sense up until this point, but it was kind of just like a saw kind of type thing. And there seemed to be a plot, but then there wasn't. Okay. Well, that was something else, wasn't it? So, I guess we're going to do the bonus content now. That only took 25 minutes. Well, it's probably more like 20 minutes. Let's see. We got wallpapers. Oh, these are the wallpapers. I already looked at these because I was using them to make thumbnails. That's a pretty good picture. The animation in this was really cool. I just don't understand what happened. Concept art. I don't get it. Bye, ghost. Now you're ghost, and I guess you're going to haunt this place forever and maybe kill people. The clown room didn't make any sense either. Here's the music, achievements. I got, no, oh, actually, I got quite a few achievements. Okay. Mass collection. Cheap mask. Ruthless mask. Grinning mask. That's not pleasant. Wait, does it have eyes up there too? I don't know what that is. Merciless mask. Stone mask. Copper mask. Wendigo? I think that's an African mask. Well, parts of it are an African mask. It looks like they kind of changed it a little bit but wendigo that's a native american thing not african endless mask that one's pretty that would make a cute robot face actually i guess we missed four or they're in the next part puzzle collection oh that's right we find puzzle pieces in this one must be in the bonus content. And then secret room. Ooh, there's a secret room. <laughs> All right, let's do the bonus chapter. Here we go. Oh, I, I have to push play first, apparently. Answer the phone. How long have I slept? Ah, I need to answer the phone. Yeah, answer the phone. Hello. May I speak to Terrence Irving? This is him. What? Mr. Irving, my name is Josh Frazier. I'm the lead lab assistant for Project Eternity. We've looked through your application, and we'd like to bring you in. Our address is 48 Southeast Road. You may want to write that down. We'll be waiting for you. Bring your belongings with you. You'll be under our supervision for some time. 
Have a nice day. Wow, that was Josh Frazier, a representative of the Eternity Project. They're waiting for me. I'll just call a taxi to take me to their office. So this is the original TV ghost. The calendar is just a painful reminder. Here's a kitty. Aw, the kitty's name is Jimmy. Take a pen and a knife and the directions. Okay. That's a weird picture, isn't it? Is that Jonah jumping out of a whale? Huh. How did this get there? What have I got to reach it with? I don't know how that got there. A can of corn. I guess that needs to light. The knob fell off. Shouldn't I know where all of this stuff is? Oh, there's a key. Dagnab it. Look, why does everything in this house need repair? I don't know. I locked myself in when I went to bed last night. Okay. Rusted shut. That's the knob, not like a turning mechanism. It's too far to walk to the Eter Eternity Hotel. It's a pigeon. No pigeon. Pigeon won't give me the coin. Birds can't hold things with their wings. <sighs> yes, yes, it did. Go, go away, pigeons. Fly away. No, huh? All right. It was a different time. There's a slot for tea. The mail carrier locked it. What happened to the mail carrier? Insert a coin to try your luck. I thought that was an ATM. Together to a better world. Reynolds and Company spo sponsorship support. Isn't this the parent company right here? There's the Her Eternity Hotel. Okay. Um, the bug inlay has two missing parts. Somebody killed the mailman. T. Irving to Mr. Terrence. So this is from Tobias, Minneapolis, Minnesota. Where's my letter opener? Oh my gosh, you can open the letter with your finger. Terrence, no need for desperation. I'll come up with the money for the chemotherapy bill. Meanwhile, take dad's gold signet ring to the pawn shop. I've drawn a diagram on the other side of this paper to show you where it's hidden in the apartment. Much love, Tobias. Why is there fire? And pigeons had thumbs. You were so weird. Wait. Don't I want to use this on the room? Oh, I missed this. Um, 1956. Why is that there? Later. Oh, there's the ring. I guess I don't need this. Apply some heat to the note I sent, and the combination to this safe will appear. I mean, that's the signet ring. Why do I need the combination now? Pilot lights out. I'll just light it. Has that gas been running the whole time? No. Okay, good. Whew. Okay, now turn it off. Why do they never do that in these games? You can't just leave the burner going. All right, which way do you want me to go? 80. 60. 20. Aw, oh, it's me and Tobias back in the day. I guess that won't work. Okay. A pile of money. No, I want to see what that is. 
have a beetle. Why is that in my house? Okay, let's go put the half a beetle where it goes. Why is this outside my house? What did I just get? The letter T. I'm so confused. No, 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 I didn't want to go out the door. I'm go over here. No, there's nothing there with a T. Oh, wait, it's over here. On this box, on the park bench. Mr. Terrence Irving, we regret to report the chemotherapy produced no positive results. Here's the invoice for services rendered. That sucks. That's a real thing. Wait, come back. Unfortunately, at least in this country. Even if something doesn't work, you still have to pay for it. Just gonna leave that burner on. Why would you need a signet ring? that's hidden behind a safe to open the first aid kit in your house. <sighs> All right. I know I need that, but apparently I'm not gonna get it yet. Let's see. Ball, ruler, white shirt, tablets, sleep mask, it's one of the greatest inventions ever, swim trunks, that actually looked like underwear, but sure, watch, and a message. I don't know what that happened. What, what happened? A tie. <laughs> That'd be fun. Oh, there's a note. Oh, oh, it's going in my suitcase. I'm an idiot. I most of that was not on my list. Toothpaste. Like, most of this isn't on my list. Am I just, like, I'm just clicking on random things. Chessboard. Harmonica. Fragments remaining three. Who's that? What was that? I have no idea what's going on. How is that a fragment? What is it a fragment of? Suitcase. I literally just clicked on random things to get that puzzle to finish. That is very weird. Oh, it's the phone. Don't do it, Terrence. Don't join Project Eternity. Why? Who was that? That was creepy. The phone is ringing. Okay. So, like... I'm confused. I mean, he's gonna die of cancer. So, he wants to join this program. Nobody knows that this program isn't gonna work yet. So why wouldn't everyone be excited for him to join it? The knob fell off. Yeah, I got that. It doesn't make any sense. Like, if you got into a special cancer treatment because nothing else worked, that would be amazing. I could put the corn on top of the stove and watch it explode. That'd be kind of funny. Yeah, I, I think he would have maybe done it to more people then if that was the case. 
I don't actually know what I'm supposed to be doing. Okay. That's a screwdriver. Okay. Is that to open this? And that is what? An oil can. It's a weird place to keep an oil can, but okay, I guess somebody's got a small apartment. That's not how oil works. Why do I, why do I need a boot? Why did I hide that in a boot, in a locked cab, or in a drawer? Wait, there was another place that needed oil. Where was the other place that needed oil? Oh, it was outside. It was... I don't know what it was. This was what it is. A claw machine that hands out business cards? Okay. Why is my stuff on the park bench? Why is it not in my house? <laughs> yeah, right. Why is this not in my house? Why was it hiding an umbrella? Oh my gosh, I don't understand anything that's going on. That was not that much longer than my arm. Am I gonna feed the pigeon canned corn? I mean, it's a pigeon, it'll probably eat it, but that's not actually what pigeons eat, you realize, right? Okay. Yeah, that would be funny. Is this match three? Yeah, okay. Want a hundred dollar bill? Sure. I'd like to order a taxi at twenty three seventy six Haven Hill Road, please. Your car is here, sir. Nothing worked that fast in the seventies. I'll give the driver the address. I mean, you should get in the taxi first. And Where give him the headed? money when you oh, get there. Oh, I take payment up front. That's not how taxis work. What? Okay. Shush. Terrence, stop! Stepping inside that building's a deadly mistake. Head to the cafe near there. Search for diner. D-I-N-E-R. What? Nobody knows this is a bad idea yet. Also, we still have the hundred dollars. I'd be smart and take the metal bar with me. I would take it. I don't understand what's going on. If I can wedge something in the gap, I can pry off this panel. Like a pen? No, I didn't think so. Also, why did they do this in a hotel? That's so weird. And a rock. I'm not going to wade through the muck in these shoes. Well, goity toity. Oh. 
Wait. Maybe the stick could be a broom. I mean, right now it's a stick, though. Can't I just use it to pry that? Oh, I guess I didn't need to hit it. Boots. In the electrical panel. <laughs> and there's a whetstone in there. Should I sharpen my pen? What is even going on here? Even an old birdhouse might hold some secrets. No, it just hurt. It just holds freaking bird poop. Now I'm wearing wellies. Okay. This di this is the diner that stranger meant. I'll check it out. Instead of going with the doctor's like stuff. It's covered in dirt and all sorts of nasty things. Whiner. Ah, now I've got a craving for a thick sirloin gr grilled medium rare. Me too. <laughs> Let's hope you're not angry, pup, just hungry. Yeah, it was, and we didn't give any of it to the cab. I need something to cut through the packaging. Like a pen! No. Rope! Why is there 50 feet of rope in there? A saw blade looking for its handle. I mean, you, if you just need to rip plastic, you could probably do it with your fingers. And the saw blade. Now we have 50 feet of rope. Why do I need that? Okay. Do I really have to... Okay, so I need the saw blade to get this. I need to sharpen- can I sharpen that? I need to sharpen something on the whetstone, and it's not my pen. And another gear goes here. And I can't get into the hotel. And I can't use the rope to get the birdhouse. And I need a steak to feed the dog, which is what this is. And I need something to turn into a broom. That seems mean, but it might work. No, stop that. Okay. Well, that's all kinds of different in it. Right. Well, there's a feather. That's a lot of weird stuff there. It's a snail. That looks like a zodiac sign. Yep. And a bow. And a hairbrush. And a bundle of sticks. That must be for the broom. And a clothespin. And a seahorse. I saw the shoe. There's the shoe. And a snail! And a birdie. And a pipe. I saw the pipe. Oh, there's a real birdie. That was cool! Do that again! That was really cool. <laughs> <clears throat> Sorry. A uh, bow. And a mask. So the bird pecking at that jewel isn't important, huh? Every one of these games' characters are so prissy. Just move it around with your foot! The swan has lost its wings. That's a weird thing to be on a manhole cover. Never use your hands! Never! Now I should be able to cut that open. It would 100% cut through that plastic. Stupid game. Yeah, I know. I remember. Why do I need a piece of rebar? Can I sharpen it? 
Why do I need a sharp piece of rebar? Also, I'm pretty sure it would take you a long time to sharpen a piece of rebar. We're going to a diner. Yeah. Ew. What is that? It looks like sausages, I think. It is sausages. Hey, maybe I could get these coals blazing. I mean, it already looks hot. You're not supposed to light the food on fire. Wait. Wait, what? I don't understand. All I had to do was not touch anything? That's slightly counterintuitive. Just gonna leave the fire blazing. There you go, buddy. Good boy. You won't growl at me now. Looks Welcome. like the Sorry you couldn't be here on a better day. We've got a pipe leaking, and I've lost the recipe of our best cocktail. That's a weird combination of things. If you see that recipe anywhere, let me know. Anyway, come in. We've got the best coffee in the area. At least that's what my regulars from Eternity tell me. I'll be in the bar if you need me. Okay. Sir, just knock someone's coat on the floor. No. I don't think so. They don't usually have bars, either. You need a liquor license to serve alcohol, and that's expensive. What the heck is that? Musical Emblem Park. Oh, it's part of a G-Clef. Which goes up there. Wait, do I need to find all of them first? Looks like the melody. Right, whatever. I can't reach in there. Press the melody button to choose a track. I don't know. It's very weird. Oh, that's the exit door. Got it. Shall I give him a hundred dollar bill for a coffee? I don't got no change. That's a dollar! That was a dollar! It's me again. My name's David Kane. I was one of the first participants in Project Eternity. I don't know. I didn't look close enough. The whole project's a lie. It's just a cover-up for something bigger. When they vaccinated me, strange things started to happen. Before I ran away, I threatened to expose them. Now they're hunting me down, but I have the evidence. Look for the table by the window with flowers and white leather seats. You'll soon know everything for yourself. You didn't have to write that down. This one. This one. It's not hard. Oh, that looks amazing. Ah, there you are. Sing. I'm Josh Frazier. We spoke on the phone earlier. Your personal records were very impressive. I'm glad you decided to join us. Nice to meet you, Josh. Speaking of personal records, is there someone named David Kane in your project? Hmm. I don't remember anyone by that name. Sorry to rush out so quickly. I'm in a hurry. But I look forward to seeing you in the office later. Come in whenever you're ready. Your life is about to change, Mr. Irving. Uh-oh. Find the manager's office. Wait, did he just walk out with the folder? Yes. Yes, he did. 
coffee, one dollar fifty cents, sugar free. <laughs> oh look, I got gum. And a quarter. I gave him a dollar. And he gave me change when the coffee and cream together were a dollar fifty. Yes it does. Yes it does. I'm really confused. With gum. Yep, sure. Yeah. Insert coin. I mean, it's the best coffee in town. Which one do I want? One, two, or three? Let's go with one. That broke the angel. That sounds like familiar music, but not from this game. I know, maybe, I don't know, maybe it was a really long ways away, though. Oh, great, now we have to listen to that the rest of the time we're in here. It's a cupcake. I thought it was like a ruby. It's possible. What the heck? What? A phoenix has a gift for me. Wait, did I just throw the rest of that away? We know where he's going. This is not hard. Oops. What is that? A lever. Do we need a lever? Oh, now we need a... a wrench. Huh. Just gonna leave that barbecue burning. Maybe we should tell the dude. Oh, the other thing is there. Oh, I bet I need a magnet to bring it out through the cracked glass. It's a safety hazard, you know, dude. A magnet! And here's your roast beef, sir. Such a fancy serving dome for a diner. Bizarre. And the coffee. That's the lost recipe. It was in the safe where it belongs. Please accompany small children to the restroom is what it's supposed to say. That is not actually what it says, though. I guess now we're gonna make a cocktail. Those are pomegranate seeds. All right, candy. One, two. I want candy. Three, four, five, six. <laughs> Jeez, you're welcome. <laughs> Find the six lemons. One, two, three, four, five, six. Find six umbrellas. One, two, three, four. Five, six. Find the bartender locket. That's this. It's a locket? It's a lock. A wrench. Wait, did I have to find the manager's office? Or did he mean at the Eternity ho Hotel? He might have meant at the Eternity Hotel. I thought he meant at the diner. Yeah, I, I thought he meant at the diner, but it makes more sense for it to be the hotel. Gonna slide it back so nobody dies coming out of here? No, okay. Not suspicious to have it open like that. What is this? Oh, I know what this is. Complete the mini game. <laughs> That's super helpful. <laughs> All right. 
I think what this is. Yep. Nice to give me instructions, though. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. I meant to be for both of you. Nice, um. Can I get rid of these, or do I have to drop them? I know I can't get rid of the red ones. I'm not sure, because they didn't give me any directions! Okay, no, I can't just get rid of those. Um... Wait, did it get rid of one, or am I crazy? No, I'm crazy, don't mind me. Alright, we are done here. Let's go inside. Well, at least it looks nice now. Good afternoon. Welcome to the Eternity Hotel. You must be Mr. Irving. They're expecting you on the second floor in the manager's office. But before I can let you up, we have to take care of some formalities. This project is highly confidential. I need to verify your identity. Do you have any documents with you? I'll be waiting at reception once you're ready. Okay. Concierge says I can leave my things here and they'll take care of them. Did you just open up your luggage and leave it in the middle of the waiting room? Oi. Oh, I don't like this game. I do not like these games. What is that supposed to be, anyway? Shush! Oh, there's the other sock. I'm not grumpy! I would like some candy, though. That would improve my mood. I, I actually don't like this puzzle type. It bothers me. Passport. Oh, there it is. Why did I have to bring my passport? I didn't. Tr I didn't go to a different country. I'm kind of busy right now. Josh lied to you. He's covering his tracks. Did you think he'd admit to knowing who I am? No. Josh is in it with the rest of them. He's the one who emptied the folder of evidence against the project. Oh no. It's happening again. No! What happened to him? I don't like this story at all. What is this project all about? I don't know. It requires a pass. Is that what this is? Okay. Enter the code, please. Four, seven, nine. Enter. Elevator. Oh, and I need to find this other pass. Okay. Elevator card. Okay, is this what I put in here? Why didn't it just give that stuff to me in the other one? You don't actually have to hold it like that. This is a very silly elevator. Okay, what can I click on? didn't even fit. Rainbow! That way! Wait, what now? Oh. I have to admit, I'm getting better at these puzzles. 
the slider ones. I'm not getting that much better. What is going on here? Dominoes. Oh, is this like a Sudoku maybe? Okay, hang on then. Um, that's not where I put that. Are you just gonna... Yeah, okay. Fine. Now what, smarty pants? Oh, okay. And now we're gonna play Pipe Dreams. This is very weird. There we go. There we go. Oh. What even is this? It's so weird. This is just trying to get in as many of these puzzles as humanly possible, apparently. Sheesh. All of this is to use the elevator. Yes, it is. Huh? What? Okay. <laughs> Question mark, I agree. Is that a bird cage? Oh no, that's a bird cage. Oh man. This game is messing me up. And Eternity Project. Reynolds and Company sponsorship support an Eternity Project. Wait, what? I beg your pardon? I wasn't paying attention again. Last try. Do, 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 one, do, one, one, do, do, one, do, one, one, one. Yay, now I can use the elevator. Don't you want me in this program? Um, okay, second floor. I need to access my room and then get to the manager's office. You don't see anything wrong with this? Non-functional. The mechanism part is missing. Private room. I've been assigned this room. I hope my key works. This is your room. Yeah, I would walk not, or run not walk out of this. I guess this will be my bed. I don't like this at all. That equipment represents a lot of Professor Reynolds money. I don't understand why we think this is okay. Like the, the original look of the outside was kind of iffy but then the inside looked nice now the inside does not look nice yeah that's where you're going to be staying in a surgery theater this game is so weird okay now I have a hook I guess I need another card with a higher level of access. All right. Conference hall. What now? Did I need a hook? I don't remember needing a hook. I need this. 
Oh, okay. This is weird. Okay. Right, okay. This makes sense, it doesn't make sense. There better be something important in here. Nope, there's nothing important in here. Eternity! That's the page from the book at the beginning. Dear Terrence, we're glad that you became a pro part of Project Eternity. Together we will create a better world. 135. I have to go back down. If I have to do that elevator thing again, I will be put out. 135. Patient card. It's a very weird hotel. Why did they even have you here, my dude? All my stuff's still in the lobby. Okay, can I get in with this? Why did that let- oh, because they wanted me to go to the manager's office. Finally, I'm in the office and the interview awaits me. Here you are. Josh told me you'd arrived. We're so glad to have you as part of Project Eternity. But you seem concerned. It's an honor to meet you in person, Professor. This project seems like a real chance for me. But, can I ask you a question? Have you ever heard of a David Kane? He's contacted me several times and warned me about the project. <clears throat> David Kane? I've never heard of him. But there are a lot of crazies out there. I'll tell you one thing. If this project really was dangerous, I deserve public execution. That... not what you want to say. Did you meet Malcolm? He was vaccinated and cured. He's proof that our project is a success, and it'll only get better moving forward. So, Mr. Irving, are you ready to start? Before I decide whether to participate in the project, I've got to really examine the pros and cons. Okay. Wait. Oh, this is my list. Okay. All right, and then, a th wait, oh, this and, what is that supposed to be, money? Okay, I get it now. Doctor and thumbs up, heart machine and the eternity logo, family, I guess. Wheelchair and a person. Phone call and questions. I don't know. Top and bottom of an hourglass. This person has a weird train of thought. And a person and an X. And now I have to put them in order? Maybe? Okay, sure. And we don't have any money. And then the doctor said it's good, but we got a weird phone call? Okay. Doctor said it's good. What was the other one I said? Wasn't this one. The weird phone call was wrong too. No, that was in the wrong spot. Dagnab it. That was completely on accident. And then what? And then family happy? Yes, I definitely am. Great. Josh, will you finish up the formalities? We need your signature agreeing to receive the vaccination. It's the first step on your road to recovery. All right, the red tape is out of the way. We can move right into the vaccination now. I'll be waiting for you in your room. Patient number five, named Terrence Irving, 
17th July 1977, I will agree to receive medical intervention in the form of eternity vaccine, that all medical treatment will be monitored by Joshua Frazier, Project Eternity Lab Assistant. The Project Eternity will provide both vaccine and private accommodation in Hotel Eternity at no charge to me. The Project Eternity is not responsible and carries no liability regarding my health and future survival. <laughs> Why? Congratulations, Mr. Irving. Together, we will make the world a better place. I am now part of the Eternity Project. My only chance for a cure. Josh is waiting for me in my room. This is not a room. This is an operating theater. Everything's almost ready, Mr. Irving. We just need to run some preliminary tests on you. First, we'll check your nerve endings. Oh, that doesn't sound fun. Next, we'll test your eyesight. Oh, I guess we're playing the find it difference game. Weird. Together to a better world. And now we'll measure your blood pressure. Which will probably be high at this point. You don't usually Everything do- Everything looks great. Please, <sighs> come with me. They don't usually do the rest thing in the hospital. They usually do your upper arm. I'm going to test your eyesight. <laughs> now it's time for vaccination. Congratulations, Mr. Irving. Your new life has just begun. Thank you, Josh. This means a lot to me. What? What? <sighs> well, we don't need to watch the thing again. That made no sense. It started to make sense and then it stopped making sense. What's the secret room? Not enough stars to unlock the wallpaper by completing tasks. What? What a mess. I was up writing lab reports all night and fell asleep at the table. Now I can't find them in all the clutter. Can you help me? Okay. What is... Th oh, heck no. Nope, 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 nope. No. We are not playing more mini games. How do I get back? Oh. We're, we're not playing more mini games for the hell of it. We're, we're good. Yes, I'm sure I want to quit. Well, so, um... Yeah, I guess he was cured of cancer... But oh no, TV ghost. That's pretty much what I've come up with too. That was very disappointing. It, was, it, it wasn't so much disappointing as it was strange. It's like they put a lot of effort into certain parts of it, but like different groups of people weren't talking to each other or something. I don't know. That was very weird. And I guess they were ghosts, question mark, unless they're alive people and they're just in a TV realm. I, I'm, I'm not entirely sure. What's the next game? Oh, I think I know the next game. So this is, this is kind of cute. You all will love this. So this is the number eight game of uh, Haunted Hotel. And the, the name of it is Eternity. And of course, that's the infinity symbol. What happens if you turn an infinity symbol on its side? You get an eight, cause it's the eighth game. The next game is Hotel Phoenix. And what are the last two letters in Phoenix? I, X. And what does I, X stand for? Nine. And then the next one after that is the X. That's literally the name of it. And that's game 10. And then 
the next game after game 10 is the Axiom Butcher. And it's A-X-I-O-M. X-I? That's 11. And then, is, does it keep going? No, I think that's the last one they gave up. <laughs> uh, though the 13th game is called the 13th. Aside from that, oh wait, no, Haunts, oh no, that just has the thing in the, in the title. The 13th being the 13th is the last one they do it with. Oh no, the 18th one is Room 18. Yeah, so that's lots of silly business. <laughs> <laughs> they put a lot of effort into that. <laughs> but I don't know what the Phoenix is about and I just closed the thing, so I'm not going to look it up. But that, that will be the next Haunted Hotel. I guess we'll see. Maybe this one will have a real honest-to-goodness ghost instead of some weird TV ghost. We're never getting a real ghost. We can do the next Mr. Case Files and the next Haunted Hotel, and then we have to pick another one. I know, right? <laughs> it's so weird. I don't get it. So I guess that was Haunted Hotel 8. And it was not what we were expecting it to be, and it ended rather abruptly, but at least it ended. So now we can move on to Haunted Hotel 9. All right, I guess I should stop now then. I'm Fate Touched, and I will see you later. Bye!